Broadway's great, but it's really commercial. What if you want something a little off the beaten path? What if you want something a little different? What if you want alternative theater? That's what's so great about the 13th Street Rep. They've always put creativity over commerce. It's really quite a unique organization as, as theater groups go in the city. And the 13th Street Rep is unique on one level because of Edith O'Hara. She's the kind of person in the theater that I live for because she's very, very resourceful and creative. And more than anything, she's undaunted. I am old-fashioned about everything. I had the strong work ethic that I learned in childhood, and I believe in having the theater door open at 10 in the morning and being here to answer questions on the phone and not have somebody get a voice and just take care of business. Our whole purpose in this theater in New York City is to help actors develop their craft not just actors, but any, any of the creative areas of theater, playwrights, directors, scene designers, anyone at all. So we only do original plays because we want to help people find their voice in theater. So we've been here for 34 years now. But now, of course, we're in this big, huge legal battle. We have a serious problem to be able to hang on to this and keep the theater and the historic building that houses it. We've had three eviction notices. Today's Saturday, so we have a children's show at 12, a children's show at 1, and then an adult show at 3. And then at 7, we have one of our regular shows, and at 9.30, uh, Line, which is in its uh, 32nd year here. I'm third. I'm fourth. I'm fifth. I can't believe it. Yeah, you're right. 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 Shut up, idiots! The most important thing is when a person comes to New York City, if they're going to study acting, you got to find a home, and the 13th Street Rep has been home to hundreds of young men and women. Hundreds. She saved my life. She gave me my life in New York. She gave me. Uh, my first theater company to work in. She gave me my first place to live downtown. The other incredible thing about the 13th Street Rep, which I, I don't think there's another uh, theater group in the city that does this, it doesn't cost you anything to go there. Once you're accepted, all you have to do is work the box office in the office for three hours a week. To be part of that company, you have to do hours. And uh, that includes everything from taking tickets to scrubbing the toilets, vacuuming, the whole thing. <laughs> that is unheard of because most places, if you join a theater company, you pay at least 60 a month. Uh, oh, yeah, you didn't know that? Oh, yeah, you're going to join a theater company here in the city? Get out the checkbook. Try and put it one half pounds. I've been looking for exactly. Uh, great, big, furious storm that swept those trivialities away like scraps of ribbon on that leaves. What do you think of that? This theater is presently being threatened by real estate interests who would like to uh, build yet another condominium instead of having a theater. Without small theaters, uh, there's no place to develop there's, uh, for young theater artists. There's no place to uh, uh, do interesting projects like this. Theater companies move in and help to anchor a neighborhood that was maybe questionable and then start to bring some economic prosperity to the area. And as soon as it happens, the rate rents go up and the theaters get forced out. The uh, Blue Heron Theater is gone. Uh, the Lambs Theater Club, historic Lambs Theater, is uh, gone.
So the latest offer is I could have two million dollars and live here the rest of my life. Well, I'm 90 now, so who knows what that means. But the money is not the object. The object is to keep the building and keep the theater. I would rather lose it by fighting for it than giving in and knowing that it could never go on as it should. And I could take you to places you'd like to go. But outside of that, I've no use for dough. It's the root of all evil, of strife and upheaval. But I'm certain, honey, that life would